I really don't think that K-pop is a music genre. For me, it's more like a science. As its scientific method. Ready to have fun? Yeah! It has its experiments, and I found myself being part of the experimental group, honestly. June 19, 2018, it was because of Momo Lance Nancy. And I have to be honest, yeah, what got to me was her aesthetics, her visuals. But what is your phone? What is your phone? What is your Instead of arousal, I found information, curiosity. And I found myself unwillingly being sucked into this portal, which was the K pop industry. Do you mind if we show you something? Oh, what's that? It's an old clip of yours. Old footage of me. Show me that shit, bro. What's that shit, bro? Three years from now, you will be seeing this everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> what I wanted didn't happen. I'm still hoping, though. I'm still hoping. Another group, which was ITZY, it was around Feb 12, 2019. If you wonder why I like ITZY, just look at them. What's the weakness? What do they lack, really? And then after Itzy, I found myself liking Red Velvet. Yes, tama yung nabaso nyo. I'm going to the Red Velvet concert later. Right to the yard! Right to the yard! So I gave them a try and boom. And up to this day, Red Velvet is the only K-pop group wherein I've listened to their entire discography repeatedly. Musicality-wise, Red Velvet's my favorite. Oh wow, now let's talk about merch. Itsy. Yes, sir. These are signed. Monster. And my favorite thing to collect in K-pop are the photo cards. And I don't even plan on sticking these any of these posters to the wall. The only reason these are on the wall is because they have duplicates. I, I never believed in going to concerts until K-pop. Miki, as I recall, this is your first concert. Momulan January. June was twice. <laughs> in Red Velvet, September was Momoland again, and then Itzy in December. What do you have there on your neck? Oh, this one? Yeah, it's the lanyard from the concert. I'm happy you noticed. So really, K-pop just really changed a lot of things, a lot of rules in my life. You really feel like you know them and they know you. But they don't. They don't know you. Relax. <laughs> no, no, but in reality, um, yeah, it's just so different. I love the culture about it. And the best part is I get to share it with my friends. I find myself having friends who I introduced to K-pop and now are outgrowing me. Like they know 10 times more than me now and I took that personal. It was personal for me. Just kidding, just kidding. Just joking, just joking. K-pop is evolution.